Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this wonderful simplification math problem, which is 10 raised to power 8 minus 8 raised to power 6 minus 6 raised to power 4. So how can we solve this math problem? So here, first of all, we will factorize the powers. So here we can write this equation in the next step as 10 raised to power 8 can be written as 4 times 2 minus 8, 8 raised to power 6 but 6 can be written as 3 times 2 minus 6 raised to power 4 but we can write this 4 as 2 times 2. Now here in these three terms we will use an exponential math property. So here in this one step we will use this exponential math property in all the terms a raised to power m times n can also be written as a raised to power m or raised to power n. Now using this exponential math property here these three terms will become we can write 10 raised to power 4 times 2 is 10 raised to power 4 whole square minus this will become a raised to power 3 whole raised to power 2 minus this will become 6 raised to power 2 whole square. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to find the value of each number inside the parenthesis. So first we will find the value of 10 raised to power 4. So therefore the value of 10 raised to power 4 is 10 raised to power 4 means we need to multiply 10 4 times. So here 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1000 and 1010 is 10,000. So the value of 10 raised to power 4 is 10,000. So here we will replace 10 raised to power 4 with 10,000. So this will become, this implies, this will become 10,000 whole square minus. Now what is the value of 8 raised to power 3? 8 raised to power 3 means we need to multiply at 3 times. So 8 times 8 is 64 and 64 times 4 is 512. So we will replace 8 raised to power 3 with 512 whole square minus now 6 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 6 2 times. So 6 times 6 is 36 whole raised to power 2. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to find the value of each square number. So here first we will try to find the value of this square number. So therefore the value of 10,000 square is, here we can write 10,000 square is 10,000 times 10,000. We will multiply these two numbers with each other. So here 10,000 times 0 is 0, 10,000 times 0 is 0. 10,000 times 0 is 0, comma, 10,000 times 0 is 0, and 10,000 times 1 is 10,000. So we will write 10,000 here. So this will become 2 zeros, comma, 0, 0, 1. So the product of 10,000 times 10,000 gives him 100 million. So the value of 10,000 square is 100 million. Now we will find the value of 512 square. So we will find out this value here. We can write 512 as, now we will split this number to the sum of 512. So we can write this as 500 plus 12 whole square. Now here we will use a positive algebraic identity, a plus b whole square identity, which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. So using that identity, this will become a square, no, a is 500 square plus b square b is 12 so this will become 12 square plus 2 times a b now 2 times a is 500 times b is 12 and let's simplify these numbers so this will become 500 square is 5 square is 25 and there are two zeros so these zeros will become double so there will be four zeros so this will become 250 thousand no 12 square is simply 144 plus 
no 2 times 500 is 1000 no 1000 times 12 is 12 times 0 is 0 12 times 0 is 0 12 times 0 is 0 and 12 times 1 is 12 so this will become 12000 we will add these three numbers so we will start from the ones position so 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 4 plus 0 is again 4 no, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 comma no 2 plus 0 is 2 1 plus 5 is 6 and this 2 so here the square now value of 512 is 262,144 now we will try to find the value of 36 square so we will find out here we can write 36 as no we will spread 36 to the sum of 30 plus 6 and we will use the above a plus b whole square identity so which is equal to a square now a is 30 so this will become 30 square plus b square b is 6 so this will become 6 square plus 2 times a b now a is 30 times b is 6 now let's simplify this right hand side so this will become here 30 square is 3 square is 9 and there is one zero so this zero will become double so there will be two zero so 30 square is 900 plus 6 square is 36 plus 2 times 30 is 60 and 60 times 6 is 6 times 0 is 0 and 6 times 6 is 36 so this will become 360 now let us add these three numbers so this will become 0 plus 6 plus 0 is 6 no 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 0 is 9 no 3 plus 9 is 12 so this will become 1296 so the value of 36 square is 1296 so here we will replace these three numbers with its values so this equation will become so this gives him the value of 10,000 square is 100 million so that will become 100 million minus now the value of 512 square is 262,144 so this will become 262,144 minus and the value of 36 square is 1,296 so what we will do here here we will take the negative sign common from these two numbers and we will add these two numbers so this will become this implies this number will be the same 100 million let's take out negative com so we'll add up these two numbers now to add these two numbers this will become here this will become 262,144 plus 1,296 so let us add these two numbers so this will give him 100 million minus so here 6 plus 4 is 10 so 0 1 will be carried to the next number this one number no 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 4 is 14 so 4 1 will be carried to this number 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 comma now 1 plus 2 is 3 and these two digits will be the same 6 2 so the addition of these two numbers gives him 263,440 so finally we will subtract this number 263,440 from this one number so what we will do here here we will start from the ones position 0 minus 0 is simply 0 no 0 minus 4 it is not possible so here we will move one from this 100 to these zeros so these zeros will become 10 10 and if we take one from each zero from each 10 so this will become 9 so here if we take one from this 100 so this will become 99 and all of these zeros will become this will become 9 this will also become 9 this will also become 9 9 on the, and this one will become 10 so here 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 4 is 3 comma no 9 minus 3 is again 6 9 minus 6 is 3 
9 minus 2 is 7, comma, and these two digits will be the same, 99. So finally, 99,736,360 is our answer and value of this nice and wonderful simplification math problem. Now in last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.